Hello, I'm Michelle Newcomb, Principal of the WJCC Virtual Academy, and I'm excited to lead virtual learning again this year and to share important information to help promote your students' success. For those who attended the Virtual Academy last year, you may notice some things will remain the same, while other things will seem new. We've been working hard all summer to create opportunities for your student to access a variety of courses. While full-time staff is smaller this year, teachers across the division are pitching in to provide quality instruction to all virtual students. As we move through this presentation, I will be sharing several resources to guide you and your student throughout this year, as well as reviewing student expectations for learning. I will also discuss several different virtual learning options that your student may be participating in and provide important contact information for when questions arise. There are several teachers and staff members that will be supporting virtual learning this year. Again, I'm Michelle Newcomb, Principal. Mrs. Bartolotta will join us this year as the school counselor for the Virtual Academy, and she also supports the WJCC Learning Lab. You may have spoken with Mrs. Phillips throughout last year. She will continue to be our Senior Administrative Assistant, and you can reach out to any of us with questions, concerns, or suggestions. We always welcome your feedback, because we want your child to have the best year ever. Similar to last year, we have a strong team of educators dedicated to providing engaging, rigorous, and collaborative learning opportunities through daily synchronous instruction. Mr. Ebersole will teach middle school English. Mrs. Butler is returning this year to teach middle school math. Ms. Evans will teach middle school science, and Mr. McLeod will teach middle school health and PE. We also have Ms. Stewart returning again this year for high school English. Ms. Delaney is joining us to teach high school math. Ms. Remfer will teach both middle and high school fine arts. Mr. Hunt will teach both middle and high school technology education. And Ms. Brinsfield will teach high school health and PE. There are also numerous dedicated middle and high school teachers from our buildings this year that will be supporting virtual students through their classroom instruction. Students will continue using these familiar instructional platforms, VIEW, Canvas, and Office 365. Canvas will continue to be used for all course content, as well as a large majority of assignments and assessments. Student VIEW remains the official record for student attendance and academic progress. Remember that the gradebook in view is where all grades will be recorded. Students will continue, continue using Microsoft 365 apps such as Outlook or OneDrive as well as others for class assignments. If you've not already done so, we strongly encourage parents to create parent view accounts and check your students' progress and attendance often. You should also create a Canvas Parent Observer account to monitor work completion in your students' courses. We have linked directions to setting up these accounts on our website. Maintaining open and ongoing communication is a must in virtual learning. The learning platforms that students use will also have built-in communication features. For example, each week, teachers will post an announcement in Canvas letting students know what is ahead. If there are questions or concerns, you and your student have the ability to email teachers using our WJCC email system or directly through Canvas. Students are always encouraged to ask questions during class, either verbally or through chat, which can be done privately to the teacher if needed. Grades will be posted on a weekly basis and students are advised to check frequently to ensure that all coursework has been submitted and to review any teacher feedback. High school students and parents at all levels can also use Remind to communicate with your teachers, which uses text messaging. Here are some student expectations for virtual learning. To be as successful as possible, students should plan to meet these expectations. Daily class attendance with cameras on and faces showing is the first step to ongoing engagement in virtual learning. It can be difficult to keep up with class material or for the teacher to accurately identify student academic needs if students are not present and visible throughout the class block. Students should be self-motivated and disciplined and should manage class time wisely. Homework is quickly becoming a thing of the past and you will find that teachers plan lessons to allow students to complete assignments within the schedule class block. Any work that carries over should only be when extra time is needed or to wrap up the in-class assignment, not new work. 
Most importantly, students should communicate often with teachers and ask for help when needed. Your teachers are here to support you. By now, you have received your student's schedule and may wonder what it all means. It does look very different this year for many of you, so please let me explain. At the middle school level, the majority of classes are taught directly through the WJCC Virtual Academy by WJCC teachers, just like last year, and uses daily synchronous instruction. There may also be courses such as world languages or special situations where you will see a teacher listed as VA remote and a school listed as the room number. For these courses, your student will attend the class remotely using the OWL camera and will zoom into a classroom in one of our school buildings to attend class with in-person students. You may notice an attendance only block and a seventh block class listed. This allows for accurate grading and course credit based on your student's request. Examples may include honors or visions courses where students are clustered to receive instruction that is differentiated through the same block. The attendance only block is how students will access Zoom daily and the seventh block course will contain the course grades. At the high school level, things might look a little trickier. Course requests are more diverse and require more creative solutions to ensure that your student has access to the courses needed to graduate or to meet student interest. Just like middle school, there are virtual academy classes and remote classes using the OWL camera. You may also notice an attendance only block with a ninth block course, and that will work the same as explained for middle school. High school students may also take a course using an alternative virtual program, such as Virtual Virginia or the WJCC Virtual Learning Program. These asynchronous courses are listed as ninth block classes paired with a designated block during the day when students should plan to dedicate time to that particular course. You may see Online Learning Lab or Concurrent VLP to indicate this dedicated time. You may find your student does not need 90 minutes a day for each course and can be more flexible within the time allotted. This may seem like a lot of options. However, all of these courses will use Canvas as the learning platform and your student will see the asynchronous courses in student view just as always and should continue to look for the green join button to begin each class. For asynchronous course, courses such as Virtual Virginia or VLP, your student should log into Canvas to complete coursework and continue reaching out to teachers with any questions. Just as last school year, teachers across the division are working together to provide instruction to our virtual students. This requires us to follow the same bell schedules as within the buildings. The middle school schedule is shown here. Here you will see the high school bell schedule. Any student attending class remotely in one of our high schools will attend lunch as assigned within the school building. For virtual academy classes, your teacher will notify you of the lunch time for each course. Inevitably, you may experience issues with technology throughout the year. Here are the steps you can take to get them resolved. Visit the WJCC Tech Support website at wjccschools.org backslash students backslash tech hyphen support to review frequently asked questions that may help you problem solve the issue. You can also call tech support at 757-259-7192, option one. If these steps do not resolve the issue, you should submit an online ticket and you will be contacted by one of our amazing members of our tech support department. If you're taking a course through Virtual Virginia, here are some important contact emails that you may find you need throughout this year. Most of your communication in Virtual Virginia will come directly from the teacher of the course. However, uh, you may need additional support. If you need any support regarding your Virtual Academy or WJCC Virtual Learning courses, please reach out to your teachers or the Virtual Academy office and we are happy to help. To help support your student throughout the year, you may want to bookmark links to the sites listed above. You can also find these links on the Virtual Academy website, 
at wjccschools.org backslash virtual academy under the resources tab or on the banner of the homepage. This concludes our presentation. We look forward to partnering with you and your student throughout this school year. And please do not hesitate to reach out with any questions or concerns. Thank you.